back everyone you may be in a situation where you have to go and trust an application on your iphone now i don't have any apps on this iphone that i need to trust but just in case you're in that position there's a big thing you need to keep in mind you have to make sure that the application that you have is signed if it's not signed aka if you download it from a third-party app store there's really no way you can trust it you can try trusting it but that doesn't mean it's going to allow you to open it so if you're downloading emulators or different types of applications or whatever do keep in mind that if those specific servers or the people who are making those applications, if those applications are not signed, they're not going to be able to open. So keep that in mind. So to actually trust an app, you want to make your way over to your settings application like this. You can then go ahead and go down to general settings, which is right here. You then want to go ahead and scroll down until you see VPN and device management. Now it may be a little bit different on every single device, depending on the iOS version if you're, that you're on. If you're on an older version of iOS, you may see profiles and device management or device management in general, or maybe a different tab down here. You just want to click on the one that kind of looks like device management. And at that point, you should be able to see a list of the applications that you have. Ultimately, all you have to do is click on that application and you just want to click trust. There should be a little trust button down there and that's really all you have to do. You will see a massive list of all the applications that you have or have had on your device at one point and all you have to do here is trust those apps. I know some applications, I think like Altstore may be one where you have to trust it here at first. It's been a while since I used that. But typically you trust it here first and then at that point you can hop out of here. You can go back to that application and you can see if it opens. Now, like I mentioned, I don't think I have any of those type of apps on my phone anymore, but that's pretty much the process. That's exactly how you can go ahead and trust an app on you know, your iPhone. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.